Hey guys, um, thanks for watching. First off, uh, I cannot believe I'm about to review this. I cannot believe that I've even seen this, uh, let alone review it. Uh, but, wow. Justin Bieber, never say never. Wow. Um, okay, first off, I want to point out, I did not enjoy this movie whatsoever. I'm simply doing a review because I want to start doing reviews. And this is the most recent thing I've seen in theaters. I saw it yesterday when it came out. <sighs> wow. Saw this movie simply because my son wanted to go see it and Courtney asked me if I wanted to go see it and I figured, you know, it's been a while since we've taken the boy to go see anything in theaters. Why not? The whole way I tried to convince her into either going to see it today or or just seeing something else for the love of God. Um, but, okay, well... As soon as we got there, we, we got there 15 minutes late. Courtney was late showing up to pick me and the boy up. Um, we got there about 15 minutes late. Uh, which, with our theater, you know, we're right on time. Uh, we got there, we got in, we picked out popcorn and all that. Turns out, the movie's in 3D. We didn't even know it was in 3D. We spent $40. $40. $40 for 3D. $40 for Justin Bieber in 3D with popcorn and, and a pop and all that. So we get in the theater and we're sitting down and of course I'm going to make jokes and whatnot. In fact, in the very beginning, uh, I said, you know, I, w I would much rather just be seeing Hannah Montana in 3D rather than this. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I, I really can't say too much in the story as... I mean, there's really not much of a story, and it's just following Justin Bieber on his tour up to the point where he goes to Madison Square Garden. Um, and I mean, oh, uh, by the way, this is, I mean, it's not like it matters for this review, but my reviews will have spoilers, and I'm, I'm going to be talking about the movies and telling you if you should go see them or not. But anyways, um, so it follows Justin Bieber going to his friggin' stupid thing. And, and I want to point out right now the the 3D is useless. Of course, it's useless. I mean, it's it's a concert documentary about a, a friggin' 14, 15 year old kid. I don't really know how old he is, but yeah, the 3D is useless. These cameras that are worth so much. I could buy a Corvette, and and then so I could buy like two Corvettes for what one of these cameras probably costs, or more. I'm not even sure how much it costs. But, so, uh, you get into the movie, they're showing clips of Justin Bieber when he was a kid and whatnot. Uh, get to know, they, they do little get to knows with his family, his crew, his friends, and all that. And, um, and I, I, I really can't say anything for this movie. Um, th good points. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the parts that I did enjoy. There's a part where they they show Justin Bieber playing around with a yo-yo and he hits himself in the head with it. I found that awesome. That was my favorite part of the movie, probably. Um, also, I, I will give Justin Bieber this. There, there's a point in the movie, um, I'm not sure what the song called is, um, or what the song is called. Uh, something like another lonely girl or no lonely girl or whatever. But basically, what Justin Bieber does is he pulls one of the girls on stage, and he like gives her flowers and like sings a song to her and like gives her a hug or or whatever. Basically, serenades her. And I I think that's pretty cool. Although I don't like Justin Bieber, I really don't like his music, and uh, all of his fans like fourteen year old girls. Uh, still, you don't see too many performers like doing that. Or whatever, you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> how, how often does Bruce Willis pull on, pull one of his fans up to, to accept an award with him? How often do, do wrestlers bring their fans in to, like, be their one-day manager or whatever, you know? I mean, that, that's pretty good. For an entertainer, you know, you're there for the fans. The fans are the reason you're popular. And, and he gets them involved. I like that. That's pretty good. I, I'll, I'll give him that. Um, 
other another good part of um there was something in the beginning I can't really remember what it was but it was so I didn't hate it so much oh um I thought it was entertaining that they they tried to they, I I don't know if this is actually how it is I mean I don't hang out with Justin Bieber often and even given the opportunity I probably wouldn't but I don't know he is pretty famous and rich <laughs> but um, there's this part where his mom tells him before he goes out with his friends he needs to clean his room and this is while while he's visiting home before he takes off on his tour and all that so I don't know if, that, if that's how things are actually actually are that's not so bad but um, oh and uh, Jaden Smith uh, they they have a song uh, when he gets to Madison Square Garden Jaden Smith comes out sings the song with him and, and don't get me wrong I do not like the song I, I mean I'm not gonna download it on iTunes or or put it on my mp3 player or like think about it later except for like right now um, but uh, Jaden Smith comes out sings a song with him um, it's a never like a never say never song you know one of those like I'm never gonna give up they said I couldn't do it type songs that's not so bad I mean the message the message is good um, the singing Justin Bieber isn't untalented he can sing I mean I'll, I mean, I'll give him that he can sing um, I just don't really I don't really like the songs um, but this songs not so bad uh, I apologize for my hair I haven't had a shower yet um, but TMI uh, but yeah the, the song wasn't so bad other than that two hours of crap 3d bullshit and and there, there's a point in the movie, like I think it's, I think it's during Madison Square Garden. It might not be. I don't, I don't know. But friggin' all of a sudden, oh, guess who comes out? Miley Cyrus. Ah! And you know, uh, I, earlier in the movie, I said, you know, I'd rather be seeing that. And I guess they, they knew it, so they gave me what I wanted. I guess. <laughs> oh God. Um. If the fact that I hadn't seen this movie wasn't, if the fact that I've seen this movie wasn't, you know, bad enough, saying that. Well, anyways, um, so all that goes down and whatnot, and like, oh, it was really odd too. At the very, like, near the end of the movie, it's not like the very end of the movie, but near the end of the movie, uh, they start showing stuff that makes me think that the movie's going to end with like. 10 minutes after filming, Justin Bieber was in a car wreck and died type thing, because they, they just, it's, throughout the movie, they're showing, like, things of his fans and, um, and old clips of him and stuff, but the way they use it near the end of the movie, like, just the, the how they pour it on, and, like, it, the song they're playing with it, it really makes you think that Justin Bieber died, like, right after this movie, like, or during this movie, whatever. It, it really makes you think that he's died, and I'm sitting there going, ah, surprise ending! <laughs> but, no, no, it doesn't happen, and, um, I mean, basically, I, I, I will give the movie this. Um, granted, I would have never seen it had the circumstances be diff been different, um, but I'll give the movie this. I think differently about Justin Bieber now. Um, I still fucking hate the kid. I mean, it, they make it seem like he came from like oh, like dirt friggin' poor. I tell you what, my family like at best was I mean at best when I was a kid was like doing okay. You know we we had toys and stuff, and we had cable, but we had like the basics of everything. And then and at the worst as a kid, we we suffered. I mean we didn't do too great they make it sound like he had like this rags fucking like I'm wearing dime clo uh, like 10 cent clothes from the goodwill type of life uh, and, and first of all I don't even know if they have a goodwill in Canada on top of that they, they show stuff from from his past they don't really even talk about like how like what his lifestyle was when he grew up, although they try and make this a big part of the film in the trailers, I I assume. Um, but he was like middle class at best, I mean, for Canada or whatever, middle class at best, or at worst, and that's pretty good. I mean, lots, lots of kids, even in Canada, don't even have that, so 
they really poured that on. It kind of pissed me off a little bit, you know, coming from lesser than middle class. Uh, but I will... So, anyways, I was getting to something there. So, I, I still think, you know, he was given way too much, way too quickly. He's got talent, but they kind of just said, Hey, kid, you can sing, so here's everything on a fucking platter. Uh, when there are, like, plenty of people my age who can, like, who can do all kinds of really talented things and are getting shit. They're getting nothing. Um... But this fucking kid got, puts a video on YouTube and, and people freak out because he's a teen sensation or whatever. But still, at the same time, like I said, I don't hang out with Justin Bieber. I don't really know him. And it may have all just been for the cameras, but he seems kind of humble. He seems a little humble. He seems like he really, really, really wants to make it, really wants to do big things. And he doesn't want to just be... Um, uh, a one, a, a fad or something. Um, at the same time, he seems really humble and really just wants to to satisfy the fans or whatever. I, and that's all right. I don't. That's a bit of character I didn't think he had. Although, given his friggin' like interviews in magazines where he's very conceited and shit. I don't, I don't know. Really, honestly, I just, I've seen the Justin Bieber movie, and I feel like less of a person because of that. Um, hopefully tonight I'll be seeing something of worth, like the King's Speech or the Right or something like that. Hopefully I'll have something better to review for you guys. But yeah, I have seen the Justin Bieber movie. My, my basic, my basic point: if you are into 14-year-old boys who sing concerts and are a 14-year-old girl, go see this movie. I, I suggest this movie to you. But if, you're, if you have any sort of sanity whatsoever and any dignity at all, which I guess I don't, <laughs> Uh, don't go see this movie. It, it's crap. It's it's what you think it's going to be. It's shit. It's shit. It's shit. So, I mean, as a parent, I took my kid to see it because he wanted to see it, which which is not that great either, but it's it's a better excuse than anything. Because I really would never have seen this movie otherwise. But since I did, reviewed it for you guys. Um, before I let you go, I uh, wanted to tell you real quick... Uh, Having troubles with STCWW, turns out Nerdery is taken by some company in Mississippi or Minneapolis, that's what it is. Um, so it's already copyrighted and all that. So I have to change the name a third time. Uh, so it's going to be a while longer before I can get to re-editing and doing all that. Uh, but if you have any ideas for... Um, for some new video, or if you have any ideas for a name, I'm more than uh, willing to receive them, take them under uh, consideration, and um, hopefully find something great. But yeah, other than that, um, I'm going to put some links in the underbar for some stuff I'm doing, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure about that yet. But yeah, don't go see this movie. It was, it was shit. Bye.